We've been learning more and more about the PSVR 2 over the last few weeks and months. And while it still remains to be seen exactly when the new virtual reality headset will launch, there is no shortage of excitement surrounding it. We of course are keenly anticipating its arrival as well, and are hoping for a solid selection of games, not just over the course of its lifetime, but in the early goings following launch as well. Obviously, there isn't much info out there on what games will be releasing for PSVR 2, but like many others, there are some that we definitely hope to see on the hardware. Here, we're going to talk about a few that we want to see. Resident Evil Village Let's start with one of the more obvious picks. Resident Evil 7's VR support was one of the game's biggest features, and the survival horror title stands as one of the best games on the PSVR even now. Many had expected that Resident Evil Village would follow in its footsteps, and while that didn't happen, we're hoping that that was more a case of timing than anything else. Hopefully, the developer has been working behind the scenes to have the game ready for the PSVR too, because another virtual reality Resident Evil adventure would be very hard to say no to. Half-Life Alex. Arguably the best VR game ever made, and maybe even one of the best games across all hardware in recent years, Half-Life Alex was a watershed moment for the medium when it launched in 2020. Given the limitations of the original PSVR's hardware, it was always more than a little unlikely that Valve Shooter would make it to PlayStation. But with the PSVR 2 boasting much better hardware and significantly better controllers, we're hoping that that will change. Rumours have suggested that a Half-Life Alex port is indeed in the works for PSVR 2, so let's hope that there's some truth to that. Ace Combat the Ace Combat games lend themselves perfectly to VR as a medium, and sure enough, the VR mode in Ace Combat 7 was a solid proof of concept for that. With a new Ace Combat game currently being in the works, and PlayStation VR 2 on the horizon, our hope is that the stars align, and Bandai Namco's dogfighting game ends up going all-in on virtual reality support. Having a full-fledged Ace Combat experience would be a major victory for PSVR 2, so we're definitely keeping our fingers crossed for this one. Astrobot 2 Alongside the aforementioned Half-Life Alex, Astrobot Rescue Mission is one of the best VR games we've ever played, so it goes without saying that we're desperately hoping for a fully-fledged sequel. Honestly, even though one hasn't been announced, we'd be extremely surprised if Team Asobi wasn't already working on a new Astrobot game for PSVR 2. The original title showcased the PSVR's capabilities in excellent fashion, while also being an incredible and charming platformer in its own right, so it's no surprise that a sequel that does the same on a new virtual reality headset is in high demand. Gran Turismo 7 Racing games are another genre that tend to be a great fit for virtual reality. And while there's no shortage of options in this area for games that we'd like to see being brought over to the PSVR 2, the one that we're hoping for the most is Gran Turismo 7. Being able to completely immerse ourselves in the game's incredibly detailed vehicle cockpits and driving through its meticulously crafted tracks sounds like a salivating prospect, and we're sure, or we're hoping at least, that Polyphony Digital sees things the same way. GT Sport featured support for the PSVR after all, so the chances of something similar happening with GT7 are pretty high. Blood and Truth 2 SIE London Studios' Blood and Truth was another highlight in the original PSVR's library delivering a bombastic, adrenaline-filled cinematic shooter that was teeming with tense action and excellent set pieces. The developer is working on a new IP now, and one that seems to be multiplayer-centric, so the chances of Blood and Truth 2 being made for the PSVR 2 in the near future are slim. Our hope, however, is that the studio will return to the property down the line for that sequel. And if not, we'd at least love to see a remastered version of the first game. Marvel's Spider-Man VR 
This one would be a little tricky, to be honest. Mobility and motion sickness are among the biggest stumbling blocks that virtual reality games face even now, and both of those issues would be front and center in a game like Spider-Man. But if Insomnia can figure out a way to deal with those problems, a VR Spidey game could be something special. Imagine being able to swing through New York, not just in first person, but with the full immersion of VR. If you're not throwing up, you're going to have a lot of fun. The Last of Us VR Honestly, we just want more of The Last of Us, whatever form that takes. So why not let it take the form of a dedicated VR game, as a spin-off, if nothing else? Naughty Dog has always excelled at getting the most out of whatever hardware it has worked with, and we'd absolutely love to see what the studio does with a VR game. And, as the aforementioned Blood and Truth and Half-Life Alex showed us, games don't need to compromise on tense action and storytelling in order to properly adjust to VR as a medium. We don't honestly know what exactly a VR The Last of Us game would even look like, but boy would we like to find out. Until Dawn sequel Yes, Supermassive Games has released two Until Dawn related games for VR hardware in the past, with Until Dawn Rush of Blood and The Impatient. But as we're sure you'd agree, those weren't exactly stellar experiences, and fell far short of the level of quality that's associated with the game that spawned them. To see Supermassive returning for a fully-fledged Until Dawn sequel would be an absolute treat, and to see that game featuring full support for the PSVR 2 would be the cherry on top of that sundae. Horror games, after all, lend themselves extremely well to VR, so this could work out perfectly. Speaking of which… A Dead Space Remake As anyone who's played the original Dead Space would tell you, it was horrifying enough to roam the halls of the USG Ishimura in that game as it existed. Can you imagine how much scarier it would be if you could do it in VR? The upcoming Dead Space remake is looking promising in more ways than one, and yes, we're sure that it will be the star of our nightmares for quite some time after it releases. But we would love for those nightmares to be even more acutely crippling if what they were drawing from was even tenser and more immersive experiences with the game in virtual reality. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.